Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to learn how to use the Finding and Replacing Text tool. And it basically just takes a word that you put in and replaces it with another word. And this is helpful if you've got the same word in there a bunch of times, but you misused it or put in the wrong word and you need to switch it out. So it's pretty handy and time saving. So we might as well learn how to use it. All right. So I have this document here that just contains um, a bunch of a bunch of words. And the word that I want to change is beans. And I want to change it to anything. And you can see that beans is in here a few times. One, two, three, four, four times. And I need to change that out for a different word. So we're going to go to edit and find and replace text. And the word that we want to find is what we want to type in. And I'm going to type in beans. And I'm going to change that word to music. Actually, I'm going to change it to Bucky's room so we can see it better. Now, if you have one or more, if you have two or more layers, actually, you can check this search all layers button, and that's going to search every single type layer that you have. We've got forward here, and this searches forward through the document. Case sensitive. Um, when you type in the find what box right here, it's going to be case sensitive if you type that in. So if there's a capital B, it won't change it if it has a lowercase b. Whole word only. So um, it's only going to search for whole words in the in the box or in the uh, find what and then ignore accents which is new in CS6 and it ignores the accents that they have on the word during the search so I'm gonna hit find next and it's gonna show me where the words are none found oops that's my bad so let me do it again find and replace text beans for Bucky's room okay there we go now um, now it's working a little bit better. If I hit find next, there it goes, it's going to find it. And I can hit change right now to just change it once, or I can hit change all to change all of them at once, which is what I really wanted to do. So I'm going to hit change all, and I'm going to hit OK, and you can see it changed all the beans to Bucky's room four times there. So that's how you use that, really easy to do and um, pretty uh, pretty awesome I guess and let's open it up really quick again I'm gonna go back in my history real quick and do it again edit find and replace text let's go to find next and then there's this one here called change find that I wanted to show you if you click on that it automatically changes the word and locates the next occurrence so that's uh, pretty handy. That way you don't have to hit change and then find next again. Um, or because sometimes maybe you want to go through the document and you only want to you want to leave one of the words beans in there. So if I hit change find, it's going to go to the next beans. I can skip over this by hitting find next, and then I can change find change find, and that way it leaves in be that one beans and changes the other ones to Bucky's room. So just a little uh, hint, a uh, little tip there, so you can use it a little bit with more precision. So that's it for this one, finding and replacing text, and be sure to like and subscribe for more Bucky's Room and the new Boston tutorials. Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a good day.